In this video, we're gonna go through how do you do the drift correction with your Psyops Z-Series handheld lives metal analyzer. Now you'll see you'll need a couple of things. In your case, you should have some drift correction samples along with uh, your, your USB drive for your Psyops Z-Series. And without further ado, let's get right into it. The first thing we need to talk about is why we do drift correction. This actually helps us get results closer to what we're supposed to be getting in the field. Each one of these samples in these is this metal kit. You can see 6061 aluminum. Um, there's other kits in here as well, like this uh, copper set of samples, stainless steel set of samples, and then a nickel base uh, set of samples. So in this case, I'm gonna take out the aluminum. That's the most common. The most common use is um, aluminums, and let's say I'm gonna go shoot some aluminum today. So I've got these samples in here. I've got my 7050, my 3003, I've got my A356, and I've got my 6061 aluminum. So I'm gonna set these samples down on the desk. I'm gonna take my analyzer, and you can see I'm at the analyze screen. I'm gonna to touch in this upper corner here, this little dot, dot, dot button, and I'm gonna say drift correction. Okay, and it's gonna automatically do a little bit of calibration and I get to select the base that I wanna do the drift correction for. So I'm gonna select aluminum because we pulled those samples out. Now you can see each aluminum family here. The first one on the list is 3003, right? So we're gonna select 3003. Oop, if I can select it, there we go. And I'm gonna put the sample in front of the analyzer. You'll be able to see that on the screen. I'm gonna find a clean spot on the sample and then we're gonna run. The sample is gonna be automatically run and the drift correction is gonna happen behind the scenes. You really don't need to do anything other than run the sample at this point. So it's gonna do three different tests. Once that's done, there it goes. See the checkbox over there? We're all done with that one. Now, the next one on the list is 6061. So let's grab that little, little coupon here, 6061 and let's put that in front of the analyzer. I'm gonna have to select 6061, and then I'm gonna hit the trigger. It's gonna run again. So you're gonna to wanna to do this anytime you run specific families of alloys. So if you're out there running aluminum, you're gonna to wanna to run the drift correction on the aluminum in that environment, and if the temperature changes significantly, things like that. Now, if you're getting struggling to get good results, let's pause here for a second. You see the 6061 is done. Now next up is 7050. Here's our 7050. We'll put that one in front of the analyzer and I'm gonna to touch 7050. Okay, here we go. So anytime you're struggling to get good results, you should always try to clean your analyzer first. Libs analyzers are really sensitive to surface finish and cleanliness. So make sure you're grinding your sample clean, that your sample is, is somehow flat and that you don't divot your sample with what you're grinding it with. That would cause it to run funny too. And no amount of drift calibration or correction can help that. Okay, 7050, we see we've got that little um, checkbox. And you'll see I scroll down with my finger down to this A356, that's up next. So we're gonna grab that sample here, A356. And put that in front. I'm gonna select her again here. Hit go. So this is the last one of the aluminum family that I'll need to do, but this is gonna let me get much closer on my results. It's a little bit tedious, a little bit something extra you gotta do, um, but it is gonna help you get better results at the end of the day. Okay. So I'm gonna hit save changes. I'm gonna go back. And now I'm back at my results and I'm ready to shoot. Okay? So that's it, that's how you do the drift correction. As a bonus, here's a piece of 6061 aluminum. I'm gonna approach that and I'm gonna actually test the sample. And you can see here on the top of the screen, we have 100% match to 6061. And this is a reference material, so we know what it is and we know what the chemistry is. But, um, you know, we could say that our drift corrections were successful.